Okay, so I want to watch the special program probably for like the eighth time for most of you. I'm sorry, but hopefully I will provide something that you have not yet seen before. Just pretend like this is the first time that, we're, that you're watching this. Just, just gaslight yourself, okay? A little bit. Okay, let's, let's watch it. Tell me, traveler. How have your adventure- Finally caught you, 3 a.m. now where I am. My son Good watches morning. your vids a lot, so oh. thanks for keeping it family friendly. Oh, <laughs> you are welcome. Say hi to him for me. Just been lately. I haven't seen this lying. Perhaps you could consider Whoa, it's taking Ayaka. time to travel and explore with friends. Inazuma will soon be holding the magnificent Iridori Festival <gasps> to commemorate the Five Kasen. Oh, festival. The Five Kasen were a group of Can't five talented Riyaka's poets from ancient Inazuma. I have everything for it her will be already. an international you cultural festival that will leave you with many pools. memories. Nice. It is my honor to invite you to attend the festival and enjoy the special events together. Hey, you know, I'm down. Count me in. <laughs> I knew you'd be interested, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, travelers, and welcome to the Genshin Impact version 2.6 special program. Woo. I'm Zach Aguilar, and... Woo, he said. Woo, Ayato said. Graham. Woo. I'm Zach... What was that, Ayaka? Woo. It almost feels illegal to be watching this while I'm, uh, like, not exhausted. Jack Aguilar and wow, as many new of you already know, I voice Ether <laughs> in Genshin Impact. And joining me in the tea house today, we have Ah, they look so Hi everybody, good. Everybody, I'm Erica Mendez, and I voice Kamisato Ayaka. Hey everybody, I'm Chris Hackney, the voice of Ayaka's brother, Kamisato Ayato. Sweet, so great to have you guys. Thank I you. like his voice. It's like I get to be a part I of like the Kamisato clan today. <laughs> you can be our <laughs> annoying little brother. Yeah. Oh, we'll see about hey, that. Hey guys. <laughs> Wait, why so, is it so much deeper than I thought? I know it's Erica be. has made a brief special appearance before, but this is our first time officially having you both as hosts for a special program. Definitely yeah, older brother. I did a little tour guide ish Vibe. segment back when we were showing off the Inazuma locations. So it's really cool to be able to be a part of uh, the gaggle of people at the table gaggle. this time. <laughs> nice, nice vocab. I'm excited. This is my first time being here, and I think this is the first time we oh get my to gosh. introduce everyone to. I don't know why. For some reason, I was expecting like a, almost like a, I don't know. Maybe it's because child has a high, like a youthful voice. Kaya has a youthful voice. Who else? Even Deluke has a pretty like youthful voice. His voice, I don't know. Yeah, softer. It's like a, it's like a, I don't want to say, I'm not trying to say that like those aren't men's voices. Dear diary. Well, it makes sense. But it's very Given mature. How about that? It's very mature. Toma. Way. Yeah, Toma has a young voice. Totally. Totally. It's elegance. Yeah. I'm not trying to say that those voices aren't manly. It's just a little different of vibe, you know? Shincho. <laughs> All I can think about is Die Luke Tilda. Die Luke. All I can think about is Die Luke. Given Ayato's modeled from Shang Li. Mojo, thank you for the hundred. Buell, thank you for the hundred. Big mess switch, thank you for the formats. I actually quite like watching it not live because then I can pause it. Because that's how it works. You know what I'm saying? I'm a genius. How dare you call them not manly? Uh, Kamisato Ayato. So I'm stoked. Yeah. Oh my He's gosh. Stoked. I'm so excited to have you guys and just to be able to do this. Let's that's how VCR get right into works. it because we've got a lot of exciting new content to cover today. So how about we get started with lines. the first look at the trailer for version 2.6. Zephyr. Zeph. Zeph, I didn't know you worked on Genshin Impact. Zeph, are you back from from your time out? Zephyr, they named an event after you. Wow, Zeph, mod check. Zeph, poggies. <laughs> Six months. I actually <laughs> started Garden. watching you when you were playing Amori, and it's my favorite game. So it was oh. a plus that you liked Genshin to underscore oh, character cool. for being my faf streamer. Oh, thank you, Oliver. That's cool that you started watching me from Omori and Genshin was later. That's like cool to hear. Okay, okay, okay. Wow, it's so beautiful here! So 
so many things I've oh my never gosh. seen before. <laughs> Aren't you two even a little curious about what interesting things you might see at the festival? A signed oh. first edition is going to become quite okay. collectible. I've got to get my hands on a copy. Oh. Okay, wait, I need to take notes. Klee is there. Xing Chou is there. I've been here since last night so I could buy a figurine. <laughs> Okay, so I probably need to do the Ito quest before 2.6, right? I need to do the Ito quest sometime in the next 10 days, or else I'm gonna get freaking quest locked. Fails to fulfill the most crucial oh. moment. Inspiration. <laughs> in that case, <laughs> we'll need to order more. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting! Okay, I'm sorry, I know I'm pausing a lot, but it's, it's like breaking my brain to see Mondstadt and Inaz and Leah characters in Inazuma, because Inazuma has felt so like cold and separate, but to see them all there, it's like, it's almost like the game is like knitting together. Like I'm actually getting excited. <laughs> More, dishes. More dishes, you say? Sorry, only one. Greetings. Ayaka has mentioned you on numerous occasions. Delighted to make your acquaintance. Oh, me too, to sir. Kamisato clan. Kamisato Ayata. <laughs> Cascade. Mind the deluge. Everything's in place and they've taken the bait. Now to start reeling them in. Sorry for my lack of reaction. I was just really taking that in. Hold on. One more time. Just, just for just for note taking purposes. And you are just realized it's been delighted to make your acquaintance. I am head of the Kamisato clan. Kamisato Ayato. Yes. Everything's in place and they've taken the bait. Now to start reeling them in. <gasps> oh wow, yes, Deluge. Where's PSA, Deluge mean again? Dish summons I our ticket now available lol keke. <laughs> Pedrito, thank you for the 13 months. Oh. That's almost a year. Um, Mojo, thank you for the 100. What does Deluge mean again? Deluge. <laughs> A severe flood. Oh, that's cool. Pokey nerd, thank you for the prime. If my suspicions regarding the portal network are correct, okay, I heard about then Dane. the fact that there is a portal leading here tells us that Chasm. the Abyss Order has their yeah. eyes on this location. As the Heli Trolls go in, they never emerge again. Oh. Everyone's driving themselves crazy worrying about it. Oh. Hey, whatever's going on in the chasm really is connected to the Abyss Order. Ooh. A whole city that's floating in the air! Upside down? More than one kind of strange power exists here. That it's highly likely oh. that even as we speak, oh. the Abyss Order is watching our every move. Hold on, was that a mushroom? Is that a little new... Is a little new enemy More right than there? One kind of strange power exists here. The mushroom. That it's highly likely that even as we speak, ah! the Abyss Order is watching Cute. our every move. Oh. Huh? What's this? Oh no, not the high Conversation's hydro. over. Brace yourselves. Wow. Hmm. Okay. Dear more, Diary. more lore. The more Dane like story progression. Miss Strimmer, mind the thirst and ignore my previous messages. <laughs> yep. Okay. I definitely won't look back. Thank you for the hundred Danes live. More Danes live. More. This is very exciting. 
I, I sorry, this is just a random thought. Um, I wonder how differently we'd feel about the content in the game if we had more story, like if we didn't have to wait for each story. I don't know, because the patches feel long between the like the like the campaign of the game, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm still very gripped by the story, is all I'm trying to say. Wow, make sure you guys get your code that expired 24 hours ago. Ten. That was pretty. Wow. Story takes a long time. So intense. <laughs> that was pretty epic. The oh, festival man. was beautiful and then straight into the chasm and I know. Yeah. Things got dark real fast in that trailer. <laughs> it's like everybody was having a lot of fun and then it's serious time <laughs> with Yeah that what? music. And an introduction by Kamisato Ayato. Uh, yes. Of <laughs> Just course, saying. Of Our new character. <laughs> And as always, speaking of Ayato, let's dive in by taking a look yeah, at our okay. new playable character. Yeah, take notes. Kamisato Ayato. Because I need to decide how many constellations I'm going to pull versus how many copies of Hello the weapon dish. I'm going to try to get. Probably just one, but... Wow, it's so pretty. The weapon's cool, too. <laughs> Oba. Oh, wow. Yeah, sorry. That's definitely the first time I'm seeing the Boba animation. It's crazy. Ah, oh, I love... It looks like little flowers. Sorry. Wow! Oh my gosh! Is he drinking Boba? <laughs> Most people hunker down against a strong headwind. <laughs> Only a few know how to utilize it to their advantage. Sorry, forgot to react. I was just so immersed. Nos, thank you for the two months. Hi. Ooh, looking <laughs> pretty wow. sleek. That voice, though. Crazy how sound great. Powerful <laughs> yet elegant. Just saying. Oh, <laughs> just man. saying. I just, oh, his moves look so cool. The elemental burst, right? Uh huh, uh huh. Yeah. That, like, flashy thing in there. That's <laughs> yeah. so cool. Love it. I love his elegance as he fights and moves. Really, all of his animations yeah, very feel elegant. very elegant to yeah. me. And yeah. Did you guys catch him drinking boba just tea saying. too? <laughs> now look, man. Sorry, I'm... I just saw it on Twitter yesterday. For... Ah, there is a boba. a good time for boba. Just saying. I agree, but just wait, wait, saying. Where, where did you even get boba? that from? <laughs> Sorry. Shh, Kamisato boba? Family, boba? No, Sorry. Kamisato family secret. What? Huh? If you're really wondering, in-game Ayato buys his milk tea from a little food stall in Inazuma City. You can buy I Boba? Find that place. <laughs> you know, but it's quirks like that that Ayato has that makes people wonder if he's kind of spoiled even though he's served as Holy the head of the Kamisato clan for some time huge. now. For example, he always gives any defective looking food he makes to Toma and- Hey, 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 the Kamisato <laughs> clan has an image to keep up. Okay? You're right. Well, I think we can all feel sorry for Toma now. <laughs> Porto. Porto. Oh. And speaking of which, the first impression many of us ever had of Ayato was actually from Ito's character teaser. He mm. was that mysterious voice at the end of the video. Yeah, he wow. was. You know, you know, actually, uh, it turns out that Ito has a Blue pretty up, thank good you for the 10 months. Welcome I mean, back. Ito even calls him bro. You know, that's interesting because I'm curious how those two could possibly get along. Yeah, that's what you I know, thought. Ito is, is you know, he's real and a simple and down-to-earth kind of Oni. But all it takes is a few words from Ayato, and Ito's super inspired and ready to take on any challenge. Hmm. Ayato does have that effect on people. Wait, so Ayato is like the big brother of Inazuma? Of of everyone? He's just like, is like sage. Wise sage. Why, uh, hel helps everyone? I love that. How sweet. For those who don't know, he came to the position as the head of the Kamisato clan at a very young age and was able to bring the clan back to its feet while facing some huge difficulties at the time. And while we're on the subject of Yato, Yato me. Chris, Thank you for the why don't you give us a closer look at some of his skills? Sure, leave it to me. Chat of Genshin. <laughs> Ayato Kamisato Ayato wields a sword and is a master of the Kamisato art Tachijutsu, just like his sister. However, what Ooh. sets him apart is his hydrovision. 
In combat, Ayato can unleash large AoE damage in a short amount of time and is capable of increasing the effects of his team's normal attacks. After using his elemental skill, Kamisato Art Kyoka, Ayato shifts positions to enter the Takimeguri Kanka state and leaves a watery illusion at his original location. Oh. The watery illusion. Watery illusion? So that's an illusion? Okay. Ayato so this is an illusion right here? Ayato shifts positions to enter the Takimeguri Kanka state and leaves a watery illusion at his original location. The watery illusion can explode, dealing AoE hydro damage. Oh. In the Takimeguri Kanka state, Ayato's normal attacks become Shunsuiken, wow. which are like quick, watery blades capable of dealing AoE hydro damage. Okay, so it's like somewhat similar to Ayaka, but if it's an illusion, where exactly is Ayato and how does he take damage? Can the illusion take ja damage? <laughs> Kishu, thank you for the the prime two months. Smoke up, Johnny. Thank you for the nine months. In the Takimeguri Kanka state, How does Ayato's he take normal attacks become Shunsuiken, damage. which are like quick, watery blades capable of dealing AoE hydro damage. After a Shunsuiken attack hits an opponent, it will grant Ayato the Namisen effect, increasing the damage dealt by Shunsuiken based on Ayato's current max HP. Max the Takimeguri HP. Kanka okay. state will be cleared when Ayato leaves the field or when he. Okay, so similar to Hu Tao. Similar to Hu Tao, but without the HP loss. This is his elemental skill again. It's cool. So, sounds like we better like be taunt? careful if we don't want to accidentally cancel a state. Exactly. Next, he has a passive talent, Kamisato Art Mine wo Matoishi Kiyotaki, which means Lucid Rapid Spiraling the Summit, in case you were wondering. So does that mean... Does that mean HP Sands? Or, or attack sands. His charge attack is Ayaka's fifth NA, and his fifth NA is Ayaka's charge attack. Oh, that's cool. I think attack sands, but like HP helps. I think attack sands. HP scaling isn't super high. It's like a bonus. Okay, so it's a bonus. It's not like a. It scales based on his HP like hotel. Okay. So Jade Cutter theoretically could be a very good weapon for him if you don't, if you happen to just have a Jade Cutter rolling around. <laughs> like in your. <laughs> Maybe I will let him borrow Kai's Jade Cutter. With this talent, when Ayato uses his elemental skill and when the water illusion explodes, well, guess... he will gain a set amount of Nami Sen stacks. Ayato's stacks. Elemental burst, Kamisato Art Suyu, will unveil a garden of purity oh, in which so blue water blades will rain down Dude. and attack opponents within its AoE. Ooh, sounds pretty. <laughs> Gorgeous. Okay, but what do the Month stacks five. do? Let's go. Hey. Thanks for keeping me comfy, Miss My Strim. pleasure. Ding dong. Heart. Strawberry. Thank you for the five. Interesting. Stacks. Wait, so, so the stacks... I guess I don't understand how the stacks work, but maybe I should get through to the case. <laughs> this will more damage, but it stacks with each hit on his E? Like after you activate his E? Stacks increase his normal attack during his skill. Okay, so he'll have like his normal multipliers on each of his attacks. This is these are auto attacks, right? That's not a charged attack. That's an auto attack, what we're watching here. Increase the normal attack damage of characters. Yeah, that's a normal attack. Interesting. But it looks similar to Ayaka's charge attack. My brain. <laughs> it's okay, this is why we wait, wait for Slice Guide. Can't charge in that state. Ayato looks huh. so pretty. Charge attack is disabled during skill. Interesting. Hmm. Ayato. Ganyu, you, uh, who am I thinking of? Yunjin? As long as it counts as a normal attack, and as long as it counts as normal atta attacks activated by E skill, then Yunjin will work. 
Yeah, Bennett. Maybe, maybe Kazaha. Interesting. It's within that AOE, after unlocking another passive talent, Kamisato Art Michiyuku Hagetsu, if Hayato is not on the field and his energy is low, he will regenerate a set amount of energy at regular intervals. In daily life, hold on, Hayato's I was not listening to that. <laughs> gorgeous. <laughs> this will increase the normal attack damage of characters within that AOE. After Ooh. unlocking another passive talent, Kamisato Art Michiyuku Hagetsu, if Hayato is not on the field and his energy is low, he will regenerate a set amount of energy at regular intervals. Okay, so he said that nor it will buff the normal attacks of all characters in the AoE. So, depending on how long his E lasts, he might need another auto attack character. And I don't want to know the answer, which surely none of you know. But theoretically, if his charge attack, or his auto attack, or sorry, gosh, his E doesn't last very long, you would need another, to maximize damage, you'd want another normal attack character. So potentially Yoimiya, or... Interesting. Kaya could work. Kaya could definitely work. Definitely not compatible with, with Raiden. Um, Kokomi. Eula. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Eula would work as well. But it also, it all, it all is a matter of like, how long does the, the cooldown, how long are the cooldowns and how long do each of these states last? Hmm. Auto attack gone, you. <laughs> it's time. Wait. Wait, I could wait. I could use um Aloy. <laughs> Maybe I could use the Aloy. <laughs> In daily life, yeah, Mikko's more indulgent side tends to come out from time to time. With his passive A talent, moment. Kamisato art daily cooking, when Ayato cooks a dish perfectly, he has a set chance to receive an additional suspicious dish of the same type. Okay, I'm pretty sure same he as. just turns in send straight to Toma. Oh, same yep. as oh, uh, the cow. Guys, I get it now. That's why Toma could eat all the strange stuff during the Machine hot pot game before. Uh -huh. He's had a uh -huh. lot of practice eating weird things. Oh, no wonder. That makes yeah. so much sense now. <laughs> <laughs> In all seriousness, though, I think that the passive talent His, is it's I love, simple, like, but it's pretty interesting. <laughs> All right, so let's talk okay, about how travelers can get His Kamisato kit? Ayato in the new version. Yep, it's time to dive into the Good coming team. event wishes. Ayato will be available wow. for the earlier part of version 2.6 via the Azure Excursion event wish. It's a Venti, At everyone. the same time, Venti will also be available via his own event wish so no called Kazaha? Ballad in Goblets. Oh. All right, we're getting another Venti rerun. Yeah, and that's not <laughs> all. Oh, this a in the later off. part of version 2.6, Kamisato Ayaka will be returning for her first rerun. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> As for the new weapon event wish, <laughs> travelers will see an all-new Inazuman five-star sword called Haren Genpaku Futsu. So be sure to keep an eye out for Haran. that as well. In version 2.6, Kamisato Ayato's very wait. own story quest. Wait, we don't get to find about the weapon. <laughs> May I have the honors of being the number one Diluc fan? Yes. Pensive face, fire, kiss mark. Also, my sister wants you to know she loves Ayato. Aww. At all. Me too. In the later part of version 2.6, Kamisato Ayaka will be returning for her first rerun. Okay, Ooh, Ayaka's yeah. back. Shocker. As for the new weapon event wish, travelers will see an all new Inazuman five star sword called Harin Gepaku Futsu. So be sure to keep an eye out for that as well. In version 2.6, Kamisato Ayato's very own story quest, Cypress's Custos chapter, will High also school, be available for travelers to play through. As the Sokoku decree has been lifted and Inazuma is no welcoming in a new era of progress, the Tenryo and Kanjo commissions are presented with a rare, joyous occasion. Let's go. But beneath the surface Politics. of this happy time, trouble is stirring. As head of the Yashiro Commission, Ayato will find himself in an unusual position. 
Everybody can look forward to exploring all of this okay. amazing new story. I only like fictional yeah, it's politics. It's going to be really cool, especially uh, the Traveler and Ayato meeting for the very first time. Maybe yeah. think of it though. Yeah, Nine months. It's going to be so exciting. If you're looking forward to playing this new story quest, Cyprus. then just remember to save up those story keys. You know I will. <laughs> All right, now that we've seen yeah, the new character know. coming our way, let's jump into the all new area travelers will be able to explore Pretty in version 2.6. In our previous special program, we gave everyone a sneak preview of the new area called the Chasm. Ooh. Let's watch. I'm so sorry. I have to be right back. Because something just delivered. is wait this is a small oh my gosh thank goodness i got the small wow and then i splurged a little bit because i also got the jacket <laughs> i got the jacket jeez i joshua wanted the levi one but it was, um, it was, uh, it sold out in like two seconds, so. <laughs> oh, I love it. Wow. Cool jacket. Joshua got a t-shirt too, but I'll let him open it. He got this one. Wow, that's freaking sick, dude. <clears throat> Levi! I mean, it in. Yeah, the Levi jacket was like, um... The Levi jacket was the... The big one, but it was very... It was very hard to get. <laughs> Which is why I didn't get it. Wow, sorry. I just literally couldn't wait a moment before I opened that, so I had to try it on. It's always- I believe. I believe that I'm gonna be signed to 100 Thieves soon. I believe it. <clears throat> That's a quick trailer to see what travelers can expect to encounter during their adventures in this new area. Okay, but it's Let's hot. Let's go! This is a warm jacket. I don't know what I was expecting, but... Dish 100 Thieves. Okay, chasm. A warm jacket. I believe by the end of the year. If I don't, then oh well. We keep trying. Wow, another sad, depressing area. With beautiful music to be depressed to. A jacket? Warm? Oh my gosh, underground snake? Dear diary. Streamer dish very pretty in green. Heart, <laughs> two hearts. I'll stop interrupting <laughs> the Pio, thank you for face. the hundred. Oh, depression area. New irritating world boss. Is that the same one as underneath the, uh, in the, in the We Will Be Reunited quest? I don't know about you guys, but I can't wait to glide down the chasm. It looks <laughs> it's just like, so This fun. is cool, we've been waiting for this forever. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Oh my it's scary, goodness. but just think of it's all part the of air you'll right? get. <sighs> 
Okay, they keep showing this. Is this a new domain? Pie dish. Can't believe it I know it's has a already domain, been but... four months. Love your streams. Thank you, cream color. Thank you for the four months. Yeah, I, I assume it's for a new artifact, but usually they don't show unless I'm remembering wrong. Usually they don't show the domain when they're showing off a new area. Even though they like all the domains look like they're in the open world. I mean it'll be amazing <laughs> to explore. For sure. I yeah, know. I just don't Ooh. want to run into that monster though. It was kind of scary. So cool. You're fine. As we saw I, in the okay, trailer, the outside of the chasm is really beautiful, but there are also deep <gasps> underground levels that exist Petty. far below the surface. That's where all the scary stuff happens. Yeah. No While tree? exploring the deep underground levels, oh, travelers no will tree. need to use a gadget called a oh. Luminstone Adjuvant to aid them in exploration. Ooh. This gadget will illuminate the darkness, allowing everyone to explore even the darkest of places. Whoa, flashlight. Oh, okay, so that'll make it a little less scary then. <laughs> Travelers Mushroom. will be able to enhance hey, the Luminstone one. adjuvant to increase its capabilities. That's cool. Doing so will also allow travelers to explore more efficiently and will even grant us a variety of rewards, including... Oh. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is the uh this is the Sakura tree. Bokuso box 2.0, but permanent. A four-star weapon billet and an all-new name card. Wow. Nice. Love me In a new the chasm, name card. Travelers will also discover a brand new artifact domain. Okay, so Vermilion hereafter and Echoes of an Offering. So is Echoes of an Offering Meant to be for Ayato, the four piece set. The four piece set. Yeah. I know it can also definitely be used for Yoimiya. The per the purple one is definitely for uh definitely for Chao. Versatile, Yoimiya. I just finished building Yoimiya. I know, and I I have so many um, so many Shimanawa pieces. I was like, oh, this would be easy. Could be not best in slot. Yeah, the Shao set. Okay, so the Vermilion hereafter increases attack when HP decreases. So incremental decrease from Shao's burst is gonna burst is gonna grant him maximum damage. So that's definitely for Xiao. And then anyone else who uses Vermilion? Um, Hu Tao is kind of a waste. I guess it's someone who is like getting attacked. Yeah, not really. It's pretty specific. Not yet. Oh, Vermilion versus Corrosion. <laughs> it's just for specific enemies. <laughs> I mean, I guess if you get hit a lot, maybe for like a defense scaling character who can handle getting hit a lot. <laughs> kind of copium though. <laughs> uh, Beto, if you miss your counter. <laughs> it's like a copium bonus. Oh, I got hit, but at least I got an attack increase. <laughs> I could use that. <laughs> I feel like if you're not like a shield user or like a like a like a parry beto user, I, I guess Vermilion could technically work on anyone. <laughs> <laughs> and then Echoes of an Offering, basically anyone who prioritizes normal attack, which it seems like we're moving more in that direction. Genshin is, has released quite a few characters that either scale or buff normal attack damage so that's interesting i imagine echoes of an offering will be used for a few people just get hit just get hit that's true the 2 piece set is versatile it's very true mm -hmm. now do we have now we have four sets that buff attack percent <laughs> this is the fourth fourth artifact set that has just attack 18 percent bonus <laughs> okay all right. I mean, that works, right? Simple. Simple. <laughs> I suppose you can copium use like two of each until you can get a four piece set. 
It's good for like Mingguang or Jean. People who use Jean can definitely like get some, have more options now. RNG DPS, let's go. Oh, V, redeemed copium for 29,999 points, which means you are now, Chad, receive some very nice ASMR while we continue watching this. Ready? Remember, remember, remember to use code DISH at the G Fuel checkout for up to 30% off your G Fuel order. <laughs> there's people who love it and there's ASMR people who really hate it. Them. More axe redeemed. Green. Well, that looks nice. I'm an ASMR streamer now, didn't you know? There should be redeemed to cut off this redeem. <laughs> it's funny. Mayu. Ah, uh, Ascended Aura, thank you for the four months. Raphael, thank you for the four months. I think I got that already, but still. Okay. Called the Lost Valley. Inside the domain, you'll discover a mysterious environment as boundless and majestic as the chasm itself. Completing the challenge in this domain will award travelers with artifacts from the Vermilion Hereafter it almost and went to my eye. <laughs> of an offering artifact sets. Mm -hmm. And what would be a new area without some new I story content? I don't even know content? what would happen. Yay. What would happen? Ow! <laughs> okay, let me just keep my mouth shut. What would happen if you got pop rocks in your eyes? And by pop rocks, I mean G Fuel Energy Crystals. <laughs> mm, I, I regret putting that out into the... into the world. <laughs> In addition to everything we've covered so oh, scary. far, the whole scary. new storyline will be taking place down in the castle. <laughs> it's gonna be cool. Yes. With version 2.6, the new Archon Quest Requiem of the Echoing Depths will become available for travelers to continue their adventures. <laughs> Everyone who's been Bye, following Mom. the story of our favorite twins will definitely be excited for this one, <laughs> me included. <laughs> and if tail. that isn't enough, the Dane. one and only Dainsliff will also be making another appearance during the story. It's been oh, so long! It's, it's been, been a pretty long time since we've seen That's Dainsliff. That's what I'm saying, Ayaka. Yeah, totally. And in this storyline, travelers will be meeting up with Dainsliff in the dark depths of the chasm to investigate some ancient ruins together. Throughout the quest, we'll be learning a lot more about Conria as well as the yes! Abyss. It will be a truly unforgettable adventure as we will uncover secrets of the past together. So you're saying Screw! it'll be a bit of a cliffhanger? Uh, uh, wow. Well. Uh, you're dead! And in addition to the Archon quests and dad? world quests, there are still many dad? mysteries that remain hidden in the depths of the chasm. Sorry. There will be much more for travelers to experience in the chasm with future version updates. So please look forward to that. I know I will. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> but this seems like a pretty good time to pause for a moment and take in everything we've seen about version 2.6 like so far. I'm like paranoid this yeah. end up and in my house. And get some primo gems. Oh, agreed. Yes. Sounds good to me. Ready, everyone? Mm -hmm. Here you go! Whee! Yes! <laughs> okay, take it easy. Take it easy, chair. Venti. Venti. Okay, remember to redeem your code. 18 hours ago. <laughs> I hope you all got that. Where has this handsome dude been all this time? Has he been in the For real, all where has he been? Kept? Last he's last we saw he followed the abyss. Don't worry, chat. Prince, I have died princess. in a death grip. He won't be disappearing after this quest. <laughs> You're staying right here. Um. Yeah, what happened to him? I guess that's. I guess we'll find out. He went. He followed on in my game. He followed Ether into the abyss. Hmm. 
Welcome back, everyone. Hey, free Shinkyo. Next, we'll be introducing a new event for everyone called Hues of the Violet Garden. Free star glitter. Ooh, yeah, that's right. So, <laughs> as we mentioned at the start of the program, there will be a festival Crown taking place inside. in Inazuma. The theme of this event goes hand in hand with the festival being be organized like, sorry, by the Yashiro Commission you. and Yaimiko. With the festival the focusing on culture beautiful. and creativity, travelers will not only have the opportunity to meet guests hailing from other Ramen. nations, but also finally see some familiar faces yeah, again. Yeah, that'll be nice. Oh, okay. Oh! I'm pretty interested <laughs> to see what you Oh, no. <laughs> the entire storyline of this, uh... This 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 festival is gonna be Yoimiya and Klee blowing up in Azuma. <laughs> this is not good. This is the plot right here. <laughs> Yoimiya and Klee are up too. That seems like a pretty Trying interesting to stop combo. Them. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm just excited to go around and see everybody. Uh, yeah. What is Ito doing? No. <laughs> what is he ever doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, throughout the event, Ito. we will be experiencing some they interesting stories alongside those characters at the festival. And there may even be Hello. some unexpected characters making an appearance. Nice. So, travelers will have to unexpected. wait and see who shows up this time. As we Ooh. progress through the storyline... Hey, what's happening here? Why are you mad at her? Hey, Tara. Hey, be nice. To you. Wait. Ooh. Secret characters, unexpected characters. Who would I love to see in Inazuma? I feel like Kai has got to be there, right? There's no way Kai would miss something like this. No way. Zhang Li. Kai is gonna ice bridge all the way to Inazuma. <laughs> Scarmouche, I could see that. Diluc. <laughs> Dark Deck. <laughs> uh, Rhea Losers, thank you for the Prime sub. Thank you so much. Welcome. Razor? When was the last time we saw Razor in anything? <laughs> and we'll have the opportunity to enjoy a variety of Iridori festival games. There are, are a total of four different kinds of event gameplay, so Amber. let's take a closer look. First, we have the moon and stars inscribe. Travelers will meet a bard from Mondstadt in search of inspiration among Inazuma's unique oh. landscapes. Mr. International will skate in for sure. He can't not miss this. That's what I'm saying. Oh, a bard from Mondstadt. Who could that be? Him. During the event, travelers can gain a poetic <sighs> theme and take pictures based on the hints to submit Picture. to the commissioner. The more pictures we supply, mm. High School the easier photography it will be simulator. for them to compose more lines of poetry. Travelers can then choose the lines they prefer and help complete the composition. All right, sounds easy enough. I'm sure our travelers. My content wheels. My content. Ten <laughs> senses are tingling. As a Razor main, I've been waiting for Razor to appear in a cutscene since he was introduced. Satch. Oh, he's he was in the he was in something in in Monster. Actual poetry contest. Inazuma poetry contest for the community. Prize pool? Hmm. Hmm. That sounds fun. That sounds fun. No. Yes. Yes. I like that idea. I like my idea. Haiku contest. Hmm. I need to write this down. Poetry contest? Dear diary. Razor has been MIA for over 12 banners. He ain't coming back. <laughs> Rip, wolf boy, piano time. <laughs> for real? Thank you for the hundred. He almost feels like an NPC at this point. Story-wise, Kazuha's the winner. Travelers can handle this one. <laughs> oh, for sure. Experienced travelers who are familiar with the map and terrain will definitely be able to quickly find the best spots for photos. 
Our next event gameplay will be a familiar one for our audience. It's Theater Mechanicus. I'm sure many Again? of you have already played this game, and this time around, there will be some new twist to the game. No. Komakata is promoting the latest version of Theater Mechanicus, <laughs> and in such a large international cultural event, there's been some innovations made to attract the attention oh, of gosh, the organizers and visitors. please don't ruin it more. Sweet. In the all-new Theater Mechanicus stage of brilliance, each stage will have its own special stage features. Travelers will need to work these features into their strategy to swiftly clear each challenge. What's also different this time around is that travelers will need to equip wondrous sticks before entering each stage. This will be a real test for our ability to make combinations. The game mode has okay. also been streamlined to reduce the amount of time required to play. Okay. Upon hey. entering a stage, about using a camera all of the region, I get the picture kappa. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Darkman think of the hundred. Interesting. Okay, so it sounds like they reduced like the RNG reading the cards thing. I like I like theater mechanicus. <laughs> theater me mechanicus, but the card thing was kind of insane last time. So it looks like they removed that. Travelers will find some mechanicae that have already been placed. Mechanica, mechanica, mechanica. You may choose to modify or dismantle them or build more mechanicae around them to mechanicae. create optimum combinations that will swiftly handle enemies coming your way. <laughs> cool. Uh, I don't know why that would be less. <laughs> Bye. Our third event mode is called Clash of Lone Blades, <laughs> which is an all-new challenge centered around sword fighting. Uh -oh. After That's unlocking that this game mode, a new duel against a swordmaster <laughs> with unique abilities will unlock again. each day. We just During got the challenge, players will control the traveler what the and damage will be numbers. unable to use their elemental skill and elemental burst, but instead can use an all-new parry mechanic. Performing a parry will allow you to hold on, hold on. Come again. Cool. Choose to modify or I dismantle them, them or build more mechanic eye around them to create optimum combinations that will swiftly handle enemies coming your way. Cool. Our third okay. event mode is called Clash of Lone Blades, which is an all new challenge centered around sword fighting. Ooh. After unlocking Ooh. this game mode, a new duel against a sword master with unique abilities will unlock each day. During the challenge, players will control the traveler and will be unable to the use traveler. their elemental skill and elemental burst, but instead can use an all new Ooh. parry mechanic. Performing a parry will allow you to take a defensive stance and reduce incoming damage. Travelers may focus and master oh the my timing gosh. to cool. perform a perfect parry, a which will give you the upper hand Beto in the challenge. Mans. Cool. <laughs> Sounds <Whoa>! pretty challenging. <laughs> Beto users, this is your it's time. It's also worth mentioning that our final and strongest opponent for this challenge happens to be someone who had no choice but to join the competition due to difficult financial circumstances. <laughs> it turns out they are just an average store owner with their hearts set on winning that prize money. Who would have guessed you'd find such tough opponents from just in town? <laughs> Travelers should get ready oh, to take on opponents okay. in one-on-one -on -one duels. And Moda? Uh -huh. My brain and immediately went to Moda. Last but not least, <laughs> we have an Ikebana event called the Floral Courtyard. In this event, travelers will need to follow hey. florist themes to create a specific floral courtyard. I like these kinds a of A courtyard events. is comprised of different parts, with each part having different materials to choose from. After completing a theme, travelers may actually use the courtyard they receive and place it in the Serena teapot. Ikebana is an art form, so when travelers are creating a floral courtyard, they need to incorporate their own interpretation of beauty. So what you're saying is, if your courtyard Ooh. is looking ugly, then you're probably doing it wrong. <laughs> hmm. Ah, I see you. Oh, uh, speaking of Ikebana, Interesting. Okay, Ayaka cool. is the sponsor behind the Ikebana event. You know, Ay Ayaka's very skilled at Ikebana. Of course he is. <laughs> You know, she invests in the promotion of this event every year, and that it's one of her greatest joys. This yep, looks like a lot of like a lot of optimate. <laughs> like and usually with these kinds of like artistic events, there's not a lot of customization. That looks like you can actually like you can actually make something pretty unique with the amount of options. So that's cool. That's that's very sweet. I like that. People flower. <laughs> Place it in the Proud brother. Ikebana. Ayaka is the sponsor behind the Ikebana oh, event. Oh, how sweet. You know, I Ayaka's very skilled at Ikebana. Oh. Of course he is. <laughs> you know, she invests in the promotion of this event every year, and that it's one of her greatest joys. 
Yep, that sounds like Ayaka. Hi, web <laughs> uh, Webflex. And that's about all we can share about this event for now. After participating in all four of these special event game modes and reaching certain criteria, travelers will be able to invite Xingqiu to join their team for free. So, don't forget to try out all the events. Mm. Yeah, maybe you'll find a new favorite. Yeah, give him a shot. <laughs> Everyone should be sure to have a good look around the festival. The streets of Rito will Gosh, be specially that art decorated is so nice. throughout the Iridori Festival, so everyone can enjoy the lively and exciting atmosphere. Mm-hmm. That's right. Shinjo. This is one festival you won't want to miss. Oh, no. I won't. <laughs> <laughs> Version 2.6 will also be featuring oh. an event for travelers who enjoy spending time in the kitchen. The event is called Spices from the West. In this event, a person from Sumeru is visiting to do research on seasonings. She hopes to find someone who can help her conduct her research by making seasonings Cookie according mama. to recipes and taste test dishes using these seasonings. You know, Sumeru lore? if there's food involved, I'm sure Paimon won't be far off. <laughs> it's no me, Paimon, and I'm hungry! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> New seasoning recipes will gradually unlock over the Ooh. course of the event, okay. and all the recipes will be available before the event ends. When you begin making the seasonings, the needle on the slider will move back and forth from edge to edge. Mm -hmm. Follow the instructions given on the recipe and press the button as the needle points to the corresponding ingredient this to looks add them to the, the bird, pot. But it's okay. And just as a reminder to everyone, there is a limit to the amount of mistakes you can make while creating a seasoning. So be sure to make the best of each chance with as little mistakes as possible. Otherwise, you'll have to start over again. Add the correct bit, number of ingredients sleeper. before you use up all your attempts, and you will My resources. succeed. Oh. So, Zach, yeah. what you're saying is, for this event, the pressure cooker is on. <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> I had oh. to, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, gosh. That was good, but it also hurt. <laughs> that was, you know, that was quite fire, as they say. Oh, oh my, oh, no. please, help me. <laughs> uh, but okay. seriously, like, Oh, gosh, this looks like we'll need little hand-eye coordination for this one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Totally. Oh, the Lord. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what did I start? <laughs> okay, guys. So, by adding seasonings you created to delicious <laughs> dishes, you can obtain fragrant dishes. Travelers may invite characters to taste test the fragrant <laughs> dishes in their Serena teapot to increase their companionship Stop. XP. Just keep in mind that the character's personal preferences <gasps> also vary. Okay. That's right. It'll be the perfect opportunity to yeah. test how well travelers really know their characters. Yeah. Mm. Do a little studying. Totally. <laughs> in version 2.6, we will be receiving a new challenge event called Vibro Crystal oh, wow. Research. This is a lot of events, actually. We find a researcher from Fontaine on the outskirts of the chasm studying the harmonic motion transmitted between gems known as Vibro Crystals. If we connect transmitter and receiver crystals and attempt to produce various effects, then we can defeat the enemies and obtain Fontaine. great rewards. We're getting crumbs from everywhere confusing. now. Why don't you explain what the transmitter and receiver crystals are first and what kind of effects the reactions can make? Oh, right. Sure thing. So after the player okay. configures their own vibro crystal setup, they will obtain okay. different combat buffs. Okay. Transmitter crystals. Okay, so it's like an energy amplifier situation. <laughs> govern the triggers for the buff effects, mm -hmm. and receiver crystals will trigger the buffs once the conditions are met. Oh. New DPS drop. Very new scientific. New DPS test event dropped. Uh, did, did you pull that out of your sleeve again? He still has boba? <laughs> I always have boba. <laughs> Why aren't you sharing? <laughs> because this is my boba. <laughs> you can still share. <laughs> we'll see. They relate. Oh, please with your sister. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's get back to it. Okay. So each challenge right, is split into two uh, battles, which it. will let's require back to travelers it. to compose two teams for the let's challenge, get back to the program, as well Micah. as different vibro crystal setups. Of course, oh the my. game will oh also my. provide some trial Good characters night. to help everyone complete the challenge. Hmm? Defeating enemies will award points, and travelers will be given an insignia based He's on riding. their score. It's going to be awesome, so be sure to give it a shot. Yeah, sounds great. Interesting. Mm-hmm. 
In the new version, travelers will be receiving a commission from an Inazuman artist. She'll ask us to use the camera Ooh. to take pictures of scenery in different nations as inspiration for her this illustrations. Is, wow. Seems like a lot the of traveler events. has literally gained the trust of people everywhere. <laughs> that just means they're going to be busy for a very, very long time. <laughs> oh, hey, right. In the photo notes, we'll be able to see comments from the artist and understand her requirements to complete the photo. Oh, capturing landscapes for inspiration. Photography event. Sounds pretty elegant. I like that. And you would know about I hope being we can elegant. be creative with it. <laughs> yeah, duh. This event will definitely duh. be on the more relaxing side of things. What could be better than exploring okay. and earning primo gems? Oh, yeah. Ooh, and this looks travelers fun. will definitely find a ton of great photo spots to remember in the process. Wait, we can do our and attacks finally, in the photos? In addition to all the events we've already mentioned, Leyline Overflow will be returning once again for version 2.6. Nice. Travelers can watch for future announcements for more details. You definitely don't want to miss the chance to get some more Mora and character EXP materials. Oh, yeah. That's yes. true. That's true. All right. I think that just about does it for all the events we have coming our way in version 2.6. Holy 2. moly. That's a lot. Next, let's talk about some system updates and optimizations Ooh. to the game. First. All right. What do I want? What do I want? So many free moss people blush. Yeah. Suplash, thank you for the hundred. This is a loaded patch. Um, Slay lines. <laughs> Time for me to only do uh, ley lines. This is the only time every six months that I do ley lines. Um, all right, what do I want? What do I want? Better co-op optimization. I want. I want um, mobile party setup. You know what? I don't know why I'm predicting as if this hasn't already been known. Optimization to the game's you. mobile version. After the update, travelers will be able to tap and hold on the icons of the characters oh. in their party to quickly bring up the party setup menu. Nice. That's right. <laughs> so it'll be right. way easier for the mobile players to open up their party setup and do some changes. Yeah, totally. Yeah, also, there will be multiple improvements coming to the tutorial's archive system, making <laughs> it easier for travelers to reference. Oh, cool. Uh, first, the tutorial icon will always stick next to the mini-map on the upper left for new players, making it easier to access the tutorial's archive. Mm -hmm. Plus, players mm. will be able to quickly locate the tutorials they viewed recently, and the system will even remember where in the tutorial you oh. last left off. Finally, I don't in think the I've Living Beings archive, the tutorial button will be adjusted to a more obvious location. That all sounds pretty handy. Okay, yeah. that's nice. Yeah. Good stuff. And last but certainly not least, during version 2.6, Genshin Impact will be releasing the second OST album for the Inazuma region, Islands of the Lost and Forgotten. Yes. yes. The album will be yes. comprised of a total of three discs featuring music I need from the Seira Watatsumi. Island, Watatsumi Damn. Island, Surumi Island, and Enkonomiya, as well as some epic combat Thank music. You. Oh, I can't wait. I hope <laughs> everyone will enjoy listening to that gorgeous music. Mm. I know I will. Mm. Me, 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 me. This is the one! This is the one! Just the one. In a harmonious atmosphere. This is the one I wanted. They knew. They knew. Do you think they saw my Twitter post where I was like, when is this song going to release? Hey, Mihoyo, who's that? Nice. They are monitoring your thoughts through the Paimon chair. You're probably right. Well, get the code, guys. Quickly, hurry. Well, guys, I hate to say it, but I'm out Yay, of boba. Four months. Oh, and <sighs> we've done come to the end of the version 2.6 special program. Macho Sakura, thank no, you for the four what? months. I was just I gonna ask I love you for name. some boba. Sorry, you, all gone. I thought you kept so many in your sleeve. What now happened to all of my, them? They're in my tummy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
thought you could have shared. They're in my tummy. <laughs> but They're as in my tummy. Ayaka would say, <sighs> oh, expired I only wish life could be as leisurely as this a little more often. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> but hey, it won't be lo- that long before the next version drops. That's right. True. So, um, I'm really excited for everything. I'm excited for everybody to meet Ayato. Uh, I'm really excited to explore the spooky chasm. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Uh, Man, there's a lot of cool stuff coming out in this version. Mm. Yeah, I'm also, of course, looking forward to Ayato. I finally get to meet my brother, which is super exciting (laughs) for me. (laughs) Um, I also am really looking forward to the soundtrack just because, oh, man, the music in this game is so good. Hoyo Ethan knows. uh, Do any of them have noses? Getting to, you know, just Is it a little dot and, and listen to it and oh man, I just can't wait. <laughs> yeah. And not only am I excited for the chasm area, but also the story. I'm curious to see what Danesliff is doing mm-hmm. back and Violet Zephyr Garden. Uh the traveler will interact with him and also you guys rock this special program. It's been so much fun doing Get this it. with you. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. It was super fun. Yeah. So the new version Give will his on March 30th. Be sure to mark your calendars and be ready to play. <laughs> and we hope everyone will enjoy all that 2.6 has to offer. No I look knows. forward to seeing everyone enjoy the festival in Itazuma. Yeah. Does and that little dot reminder, count as a nose? Can keep an this is a nose? For future official announcements for more information on the coming version. All right. Well, that's it for us today. Thanks, everybody. Oh, thank and you. see you in game. Thanks, guys. See ya. Woo-hoo. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> Pogers! Wow. Okay. Okay. Hmm. I, I, I'm excited. Yeah. I think... Man. I like... I, I hope that... Sorry, I'm... All my thoughts are blending together into one. There's so much. We're getting Theodore Mechanicus. We're getting Chasm. We're getting a new character. We're getting a Lantern Rite esque event. We're getting mobile optimization. Dane's Lift. In Azuma. I'm so excited to finally get to meet my sibling. Traveler, when is it my turn to be happy? <laughs> when is it my Sanch. turn? We're getting Ayato. And we're getting a Archon Quest. And a lot of Premo Gems. It looks like a good patch. It looks like a busy patch. Um Man. If only every patch could be like this, but that's a bit unrealistic. <laughs> and drip marketing this week. Oh no. Oh no. Content. Content. This is this is the kind of Genshin content that we're waiting for. This looks like a really, really good patch. Except Kazaha. I think I think Kazaha and Yoimiya in patch 2.7. And nameless unreleased character. I think. And a child rerun. <laughs> no, don't sus me. That I literally don't know. I, I promise I don't know anything. This looks good. Looks jam packed. Shall we run? Twilla, thank you for the 200. Thoughts on Ayato's kit. Thoughts on Ayato kit? Do you think he's your type of character? Dear diary. Yeah. I think so. We're getting Ayoka too, right? Right? Kek lol. His kit? His kit looks... I'm so excited. Synergistic. I've been waiting for Ayato ever since he was just a name mentioned in voice lines. <laughs> I have 170 Woo! wishes saved already. Yeah. Maybe we'll get Ayato. Ayato looks... One, his kit is very beautiful. I love his ult animation, and he has a good hybrid, like, I really enjoy characters that could theoretically be like solo characters, and Ayato seems like he kind of falls within that category, and his team building compositions look fun to me. That's Ayato having no drip. 
I think I think that I think that I can't listen to anything you say, Joshua, because when you first saw Hu Tao, you said she looked boring. <laughs> and now look at you. You saw the light eventually. You saw the light. He was like he was like, Hu Tao looks boring. I'm like Huh? <laughs> Yuri, thank you for the hundred. Tiny Seller, thank you for the five months. Angels K, thank you for the nineteen months. That looks good. I am hopeful that the events are what they seem. Oh, and I think I'm gonna post this on YouTube. So if you're watching this um, vod slash review on YouTube, thank you. So much today. Thank you. Thank you for the six months, Kai. If you're watching on YouTube, hi and goodbye. Uh, I'm excited for this patch, and I hope you guys are too. Good luck if you're pulling for uh, Ayato. And if you're not pulling for Ayato, you're pulling for someone in this patch, you got 10 days left. I wish you the best of luck. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Goodbye.